Victims who suffered and those who are still suffering were remembered yesterday in a ceremony to mark the 20th anniversary of the Oma bombing on Wednesday. 29 people were killed when a car bomb exploded in the county Tyrone town. More than 200 others were injured. Yesterday, survivors, including Donna Marie McGillian who suffered serious burns, and relatives gathered for a service at a memorial garden yards from where the bomb exploded. They sat together around a reflecting pool, many of them clutching bouquets of flowers as they heard prayers, speeches and music. The names of the murdered from Northern Ireland, the Republic England and Spain were read out. The OMA Support and Self-Help Group, which organized the event, said, We thank the first responders, the police services, the intelligence services, the fire departments, the first aiders, the paramedics and the medical professionals for the courageous work. Michael Gallagher, whose son Aidan was among those killed, paid tribute to all victims of the 30-year conflict. He said as a small province, Northern Ireland was facing its greatest challenges and called on the political parties to seek agreement so that we can move forward. He said, working alone, we can achieve very little. But in collaborative ventures we can achieve a great deal. Northern Ireland Secretary Karen Bradley said the loss that victims of terrorism live with should never be forgotten. In a statement, she said, I hope today's commemoration ceremony provides comfort to all those bereaved and is marked by hope and remembrance. We must never forget the loss that the victims of terrorism live with each day and the remarkable courage of all those affected by such unspeakable acts. Legal action continues over the atrocity. Dissident Republicans the real IRA claimed responsibility in opposition to the peace process. Nobody has been convicted despite then-Royal Ulster Constabulary Chief Constable Sir Ronnie Flanagan vowing no stone would be left unturned until we bring these people to justice. It is proposed that yesterday's service would be the last to be held on this scale. Further commemorations are due on Wednesday.